And then people or black people, it's kind of <coughs> universal what we use. Um, and some people tell me, uh, what are some sludges that we use? Cedar. <coughs> Those are our four basic smudges. Um, the sweetgrass we use is more for uh, a blessing. Uh, the way it was told me is we call it Sabatimo. Everybody say that? Sabatimo. Sabatimo. Sweetgrass. Sabatimo. And then, uh, nice. the sage, uh, the way <coughs> basic smudges when we go into the lodges or when we're in the, the sweat. And we use them to spray, spray with. But also, when we're picking them, when we're picking these smudges in the roots, you're always in constant prayer <coughs> and you're quiet. Always in constant prayer, you know, trying to find them because if you ever, if anybody has ever uh, picked a sweet grass, It'll hide on you. Yeah. It'll hide on you and it won't show. Not unless you're quiet and you're paying attention and you're praying. But uh, I just wanted to clear that with you guys this morning. Um, talk about yes, yesterday. The teacher's indicator. Who knows what that is? What is it, Robert, what's that right there? This is sweet grass. Sweet grass, nice. And that's what he gave to Deborah? <coughs> yeah. Sweet grass? Oh yeah. When they're red, that's a harsh, harsh summer. 
Whoa. When they're blue, that means you're having a, a lush, Whoa. lush spring. Sometimes <laughs> they're green, but green and blue, you know, indicates of a, uh, you know, if it's gonna be a wet season or if it's gonna be a dry season. You know, change colors on it. <coughs> you said when the brown or dry season. Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, bird migration. Fish kill. Who has seen a who's seen a fish kill around here? A fish kill. <laughs> Helps your stomach. Bear root? Yeah. Did she find it or she could buy it? Oh, she would have somebody get it. And she nice. I wonder is it kind of hard to find? I don't know. I don't think so. So when we talk about sun and moon, who's ever seen sun dogs? Who knows how to read them? We look at the sun dogs, and it's all the way around in the food. Sometimes they're on this side, and that's where it shows you where they're going to come from. Uh huh. Even on that side, that's where it shows you where they're going to come from. So if the sun dog is huge and big, what's the weather going to be like? Uh huh. So go at the sun dog and the pole to the sun. What's the weather going to be like? Oh, the pole. It's going to be uh, the uh, kind of wet. It's going to be uh, if you look at it, you know it's uh. It's the, uh, uh, what is it called? It's the particles, uh, the particles in the air. That's what it's like. And then the moon. Who knows about the moon? The waxing and the waning. Oh, yeah. That was told by me, uh, I believe it was Marilyn Bullshit. I was telling her class. When it's waxing, you know, it's going like this. Holding the weather right there. Huh. But when it's waning, that's when the weather comes out. <coughs> then they go to the Big Dipper. When we look at the Big Dipper, you know, we think of the seven <laughs> brothers. We have a cre our creation story goes along with that. Also. We look at the Big Dipper, you know, it's like a big spoon. When it's up like this, you know, when it's up. Holding it there, you know, the weather gets held, held there. But when it tips like that, that's when the weather comes down, it comes wicked. If you ever, I mean, that's what I noticed throughout my years talking with my elders. That's what they told me. All the time, it's passed on and passed on. So I give it all to all of you. If you're researching yourself, you can ask your, your people that you know. But this is what I was told. This is the end of my presentation. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you, Brandon.